Hey, making bone gang, and welcome back to another episode of I have more mud than I know what to do with and water. And if you caught the uh, part one of the cleanup video from Hurricane Ina, this is picking up right where it left off with a whole bunch of mud still in my backyard. And uh, it's been raining the last couple days, so it dropped a whole bunch of water. Water has nowhere to go. Lovely. So with all that being said, we kind of had a standstill. Uh, as far as this progress goes, but I do have two sheds one right here and one almost leaning up against my Neighbor's neighbor's house So I guess today's goal is gonna be to try and get into this shed and see what's salvageable pull it out Have to take pictures for insurance purposes whatnot and uh, Probably try and start tearing down the shed because the shed it ain't gonna make it You can see right there. That's the skid that the shed is supposed to be resting on and this got all kind of Jacked up. We actually tried moving it the other day with two skid steers getting underneath lifting it and trying pulling it and it ended up just pretty much starting to tear it in half so long story short because of that i couldn't get the door closed so i had to board it up so nobody would come steal my stuff that's probably not good anyway so with all that being said i'm gonna get in there start pulling things out seeing if anything's salvageable stacking it under the house taking pictures and uh figure it out you might want to come along what's wrong nothing to it but to do it here's the hope and we don't grab a hold of a snake eh, something tells me that pressure washer ain't no good no more just a hunch tell you what though we're gonna go ahead and take this table set it up oh no that's my hobie chair for my hobie kayak man i hope that thing will rinse off and be all right because uh that sucker there's a special man it's a mess these traps here is still good. Rinse that off while they rust through. Get all that salt water off. You got any critters or snakes up in here? Y'all let me know now. If I grab you, boy. Got that gun that scared the bejesus out of me. Sheesh. A lot of this, like all of that's gonna get thrown away. I mean, it's a bunch of fittings and whatnots, and odds and ends. I don't know, maybe I'll keep some of it with them little crack of cans. I don't know, that fan ain't no more good. I guarantee that, that's sitting in salt water and mud. And there's all my fishing poles. Oh, and my whopper plopper was on there. There you go. Yeah, that ain't gonna be no more good. That's been sitting there in salt water and mud for a month. Crawl motor ain't no more good. All them old fishing poles ain't no more good. Them's was my spares. Man, that ain't no good no. Oh, look at that. There's my trot lines. Something tells me that's not lighter fluid no more. Might be though. Eh, might still be good. This probably gonna go have to go in the trash. Well, maybe not. We'll see. I better save them hooks. Now, look at that. The mud on this table make it look burnt. So it look like it done caught on fire. On my jug lines, that's still good. Man, what a mess, yeah. All right, well, there ain't quite as much in this shed as I thought there was. There's a lot in the other shed still, but can't get to the other shed because it's sitting at a 45 leaning up against the house. I'll tell you what. I reckon I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing on time lapse. We just gonna get after it, you know? Yeah, let's just do that. Well, real quick before we go to the time lapse, I just realized that right there is the water line. So the shed did come up and floated over here, but uh, it must have, I don't know if it filled up before it settled or after it settled or while it settled. I don't know. I just wanted to show you that. most of the stuff out of the shed at least anything I think that the insurance company might give me money for but now I gotta go over there dig through it get all the names of the make model and so uh not social security number my brain hurts the make model and serial number that's it 
So, uh, probably so that they can look it up and depreciate everything before they give me a number. So, I'm gonna knock that out real quick, and then I'm gonna pressure wash anything that I think I can keep. Yeah, that's pretty boring, so I'm not gonna put y'all through that. I'll just pick this back up whenever, uh, when something else interesting happens. Alright, here we are, full five days later. It is October 4th now. Um, we had gotten everything out the shed, as you uh, already seen, anything that was worth a darn anyway. Uh, there's still a few things in there I want to get out, that, um, like fittings and uh, some extra floor tile that they left over from the house that I want to hang on to just in case. But of course, that stuff can just be rinsed off, not really damaged, so I gotta get all of that out before we tear down the shed. But we're gonna put that on hold for a while, because uh, we've been getting a lot of rain the last few days. As you can see, as you saw earlier, there was water on the ground, and well, it's rained every day since, leaving more water trapped on the ground so according to the weather folk on on the, on the news who are you know never wrong they said uh we about to get like a week and a half to two weeks at least a foreseeable forecast of no rain it's supposed to rain today and then it's gonna be dry which is gonna be great problem is all of this water is still trapped in the backyard so after two three weeks of searching my wife and i finally found a two inch trash pump so that's kind of going to be the agenda for today we're going to dig a hole in the lowest part that we can find and uh, start trying to pump some of this water up to the front into the ditches now that they got those draining. See if we can make a difference. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you want to support the channel, the simplest and easiest way to do it is make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That helps out more than you can imagine. It tickles the old YouTube algorithm and starts spreading the news about the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. That always works. Why are you peeing in my water? I got to walk in this stuff. Now, of course, I will never charge you guys as long as YouTube exists to watch my videos. They're absolutely free. Hope you guys are enjoying every single one of them. But also, if you want to support the channel, check out ShopPelicanBoneOutdoors.com. Pick you up some awesome merch. We got hats, we got shirts, I got a face mask. And we're going to come out with a fanny pack because why not? I like fanny packs. here on these pallets to keep it out of the water so we found this milk crate or whatever you want to call it in the uh in my shed it's got some relatively small holes because this pump can only pump solids up to a quarter of an inch which is you know better than nothing and these holes right here are about a quarter of an inch but the problem we're going to have is a lot of grass gets stuck in that so we're going to use that to help try and filter out some of the grass so we don't have to clear that out all the time oh, yeah.
got it figured out. So the problem was our suction hose, this little hose clamp right there was not clamped all the way so we were getting there and uh, it wasn't causing the suction. So we also got the hose pipe from the house and filled up the green hose to prime it and we got the thing sucking. The problem was the little plastic screen that comes on the end of that hose immediately collapsed because it got clogged up with grass. So we came up with another solution, being a bunch of coon asses from down in Baya and all. I had a crawfish trap and uh, check this out. Hey, me look at that bar. Now we got one of them homemade crawfish trap baskets on the back of that thing, yeah. So we're gonna crank her up and see if it, uh, see if we can get it to work on camera. It's pumping cuz. Of course, I don't know. Uh, I wish we had a little bit longer hose. We might be doing all right. All right, so fast forward a couple of two days later, and once we got the basket situation figured out with that crawfish trap to filter out some of the grass, still didn't have enough of the blue hose because I had this hump right here. In my driveway, as you can see where the water stops right there, there's a hump right here before it gets low enough to drain right there. Originally, I had drained this little ditch right there on the side of my house. So what I had done was I took this PVC that I had laying in the back right here, yeah, used a, bit, a little bit of that duct tape to connect them, and I had it duct taped to the blue hose, and it was working for a little while until it didn't because my duct tape started springing a leak, but it didn't matter anyway because uh, lightning started popping off and the sky broke open and it just wasn't doing any good anyhow, raining its tushy off. So I went to the store this morning when I got off of work and I bought me another 100 foot of hose. So I'm gonna hook that up because we're supposed to have at least five days of no rain. And I'm gonna try and get some of this water out of here. Still a lot of water there, but boy, did that make a difference. That's like a pumped out some water. So here we are, fast forward about six days to a week, and uh, yeah, not a whole lot's changed. Backyard's still holding water. So it pumped a bunch of it out, as you've seen, but uh, it got to the point where it was a little too shallow for that pump to keep pumping because it would cause a little whirlpool, suck up some air, and lose its suction. And then you're kind of stuck, you know? I tried digging a hole. Every time I dig the hole, the soupy mud would pour back in the hole. So I ain't figured that out quite yet. But on the agenda for today is gonna be the front yard because I got a little surprise coming up. This here is October 12th, a Tuesday. And uh, coming up this Saturday, I'm gonna have a little surprise, a little addition to the channel, if you will. So uh, I don't know if you already know about it. I guess it just depends on when this video comes out compared to that one. Anywho, I did make a little progress to the underneath. I got this little section from front to back, all pressure washed. Still got all the junk from the shed right there that I still haven't uh, gotten taken care of. But then we also have this part pressure washed. This big old section right here is almost looking like normal. And this section right here had been pressure washed for a little while, so that's looking good. But the front yard, well, still a mess, but let me show you something. So if you can see that little piece of sod right there, that's at my neighbor's house. Their little chihuahua literally would not use the bathroom in the mud. It needed grass. So for like two days, they had the puppy there would not go to the bathroom so they had to go leave it at uh the mother's or the mother-in-law's house and uh until they got some sod and when they brought it there the doll was finally able to use the bathroom well tank he was using the bathroom just fine but he was getting his little paws dirty so my wife didn't want that to be the case so she's like hey maybe we can go pick up some artificial grass bam some artificial grass she got it dog pee pee and poo pooed on that but for some reason that just wasn't good enough so my baby got us some more sod so just in case during this video you're wondering why we have a little patch of grass right there that's why, but what's on the agenda for today is I'm gonna go take the tractor, the box blade, and we're gonna try and level this out because this was able to dry pretty good. So we're gonna take that box blade and we're gonna try and smooth that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna plant some rye grass so that hopefully that rye grass will hold it all together during the winter so we won't have a big slosh pit. And uh, just to drop a little hint, that's gonna have something to do with the, that surprise that's coming at the end of this week. But if you follow on Instagram, you probably already knew what's going on before this video comes out. So I guess let the montage and the time lapse begin.
about as good as it's going to get right now. It'll look a whole lot better. Uh, maybe a little bit better, but I mean, you see we already have some grass growing back right there and some grass growing back behind the step. But uh, I guess the only thing left to do now is to uh, sprinkle some grass seed. Yep. Well, uh, front yard's graded, seeds planted, sprinkled a little water on it. I even uh, put some right here down in the backyard too, hopefully that'll take. And then, well, pretty much stuck at a standstill again. Sorry if this video wasn't very satisfying, there was no real huge progress made that you can see some that's atrocious and all of a sudden it's fixed. But, I do hope you enjoyed the video anyway, this is pretty much going to wrap it up with this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. I think I'm going to go fishing now. So hit that like button if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't, and I guess I'll just catch you on the next one. And we can... Get something else done around here.